Welcome to Hacker News, I'm DC and today we have the following topics to cover. Uh, Ghidara has been released to the public by the NSA, Google Chrome's latest major vulnerability and Operation Sharpshooter has been linked to North Korean hacker group. Earlier this week on Tuesday at the RSA Security Conference in San Francisco, the NSA demonstrated Ghidara, which is a refined internal tool that has been chosen to be released as open source. While the NSA cybersecurity advisor Rob Joyce called the tool a contribution to the nation's cybersecurity community in announcing it at the RSA, it will no doubt be used far beyond the United States borders. The tool's name is Ghidara and apparently it can not be used to hack devices more it's used as a reverse engineering and decompiling tool for malware. The NSA announced Joyce's RSA talk and Ghidara's imminent release in early January but knowledge of the tool was already public thanks to WikiLeaks March 2017 Vault 7 disclosure which discussed a number of hacking tools used by the CIA and repeatedly referenced Ghidara as a reverse engineering tool created by the NSA. The actual code hasn't seen the light of day though until Tuesday, all 1.2 million lines of it. Ghidara runs on Windows, Mac OS and Linux and has all of the components security researchers would expect it to have. A new Google Chrome zero day vulnerability has been found in a previously released version of Google Chrome just today. Google has urged all users of the popular browser to update Chrome to the latest version as soon as possible to protect your system. The vulnerability affects the browser in all major operating systems including Windows, Mac OS and Linux. The details of the vulnerability have been suppressed by Google somewhat, however, Without going into too much detail, the issue is a use after free vulnerability in the file reader component, which can lead to remote code execution attacks. Um, file reader is an API that has been designed to allow web apps to asynchronously read the contents of files stored on the user's computer. Finally, in Hacker News, North Korea has made it into the cybersecurity news again with researchers on the Operation Sharpsuiter cyber attacks linking the attacks to North Korean hackers, thanks to some new evidence. After analyzing a command and control server involved in the espionage operation, the CIS code and command and control server has allowed researchers to understand the inner workings, which has ultimately led to the conclusion that the North Korean state-sponsored hacking group Lazarus is behind Operation Sharpshooter. The analysis has also revealed that the operation has been running since as early as September 2017, which is earlier than originally thought. The way the espionage attack works is it sends malicious documents containing a weaponized macro to various targets via Dropbox. Once someone opens and downloads the macro, it utilizes embedded shellcode to inject the malicious downloader in the memory of Microsoft Word. Thanks for watching the Hacker News. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment down the bottom there or smash a subscribe. Catch you on the next one.